middle of the day, you yeah. know, those courts can get really, really hot. So yeah, do those things early or late in the day, but this week we might get a little relief even for the middle of the day. Our Mr. Sparky Carolina Camera Network, finally some calmer weather tonight. We saw a lot of those shelf clouds tonight with those strong outflow and yeah, I hope you caught it. I was trying to post as much as possible to give you a heads up, but the Spacelink Starlink satellite chain that was launched on Friday, we saw the 22 in a row kind of pass over tonight and some great views, probably the better views we've had in a while. Look at some of these views from some of our viewers. Greg Walter, you might recognize that name, VP and GM out there at the Speedway, caught it over Mountain Island Lake. You can see that beautiful view there. And then our third shot here, you can see Jenny, a little darker location, but that's what it looks like. Um, if you didn't know what it was, it always freaks you out because it looks like something's invading, right? But those are those, are those low orbit uh, Earth satellites. Uh, they launched 52 at a time, now about 22 at a time because they're a little bit larger. This is going to eventually provide internet access globally in every square inch of the Earth. Um, as tens of thousands of those satellites will be up there. So you only, you only really see them about a couple days after launch under certain circumstances. So hopefully we'll get another chance if you haven't seen them already because they are pretty spectacular. The clear sky certainly helped out if you're on the coast, though. Folks heading out there didn't see much, but a few folks got a chance to see it before the clouds moved in. Severe weather risk and none left tonight, but tomorrow a little bit of a low risk to our east. We'll keep an eye on that because I think we're going to see one more wave of showers and storms late tomorrow. Most of the day, though, is going to be dry. Temperatures climbing into the upper 80s. A north wind is going to make it feel pretty good around here. So as you plan your work week here, we're looking at a pretty nice week. Temperatures again, generally in the 80s in the middle of the week, less humid as well. So that's going to feel really crisp and cool, but increasing rain chances as we head closer to the weekend. Um, at least scattered afternoon storms will be around. We could see some of those tomorrow as well in the afternoon. Just a few here and there around 5 o'clock. Those bubble up and then move out fairly quickly. Tuesday, Wednesday look a little bit drier. As you can see, the wind shifting to the northeast. That's typically a cooler flow of air, but at least a drier flow of air as well. You see the dew points in the 60s, maybe even 50s on Wednesday. So compared to the air you can wear we had for the last week or so, this is going to feel pretty good, especially in the mornings and evenings when the temperature can fall down. The low pressure from yesterday moved off the coast and tell you what, could see some tropical development there as that thing hangs out over the Gulf Stream. Just a 30% chance of development. Probably more likely we're going to see that develop. Chances are increasing pretty quickly with our other tropical wave out there as we start to keep an eye on the Atlantic. August 1st is coming up on Tuesday. And again, that's a key day. 87% of all our named systems form after August 1st. So even though June 1st is the start of the season, things really don't ramp up until we get into August, September, and October, those three months in particular. Heat wave continues across the southern tier of the country, but the cool weather continues in the plains and up into the northeast. We're going to be right on the edge of that, so expect temperatures to be slightly above average. Here's a look at your guy roofing seven day forecast. Look at that upper 80s, mid 80s. It's going to feel pretty good. The reason we're in the mid 80s, though, by the end of the week, more clouds and some scattered showers, but things will warm back up and actually dry out a little bit as we head closer to the weekend. Sounds pretty nice. Thanks, Brad.